Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to episode 1 of our Planet Zoo career playthrough. This is going to be a real time let's play, uh, working our way through the career mode of the game. And um, we're going to focus a little bit on design, but obviously, you know, this is an 8 hour time lapse for one episode. So we're going to be moving pretty quick and focusing more on getting these sexy stars. So Goodwin House, that was available in the beta and they have managed to carry the progress over. So we're not going to go to Goodwin House, we're going to go straight into to the Madagascan Simeon Conservation Project. We say it's tutorial, but I think we should still work through it, even though we've got a bit of an idea of what we're doing. We've also got Maple Leaf Wildlife Park. We'll go there soon as well. Uh, wow, look at this, it's pretty developed. Madagascan Simeon Conservation Zoo is the culmination of Bud Bernard Goodwin's work in the region, specializing in simian breed and release programs, as well as championing and highlighting the diverse species of apes and monkeys. Uh, but never want to be complacent, Bernard now wants to see what you can do in his most promising of locations. Oh, it's a pretty one. Welcome to Madagascar. It's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? <laughs> sure is. Apart from the weather, I suppose. Huh. They don't call these places rainforest for nothing. <laughs> it's a different kind of rain, though, Bernie. The zoo you'll be working in is an ape sanctuary, where we're doing vitally important conservation work. Zoo Not just for apes, but for all kinds of species. But apes, well, apes are some of the closest relatives to humans there are. They sure are. And yet, the way the world treats them is like... Well, very much like some of us treat our actual relatives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me, Bernie, I moved halfway across the world to get away from some of mine. <laughs> does some good. If we can all leave some part of the world in a better state than we found it, we'll have lived lives worth living. Sure. Oh, that's an interesting middle states, ground there, look. I have a horrible feeling I left the house in the right one. <laughs> when I get back, I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> He's going on about his wife again. <laughs> What do you think of Madagascar then? Bit warm for my tastes, to be honest. He's right, Nancy. You're Welsh. You've never seen the sun before, have you? Sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. Huh? We've got all sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? Why not? We'll start by taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. Ooh, red ruffed lemurs. The these ones are new. Uh, so these weren't okay. officially announced before Come launch. On. Let's head over to them. Um. Okay, I will. As soon as the as soon as the camera lets me. Let's do a nice old zoom out. There we go. Here we go. Look at these. Oh, they're cute. Red lemurs are found in the rainforests of Masuala. That's in northeast Madagascar. Hey. They can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 years. Wow. Fancy that, eh? Okay, when you're ready, let's go find our Borean orangutans. The Borean orangutans. Here we go. Uh, this is really nice. It's like three different exhibits, but with a adjoining bit of water that they all share. That's a cute idea. I like that. Uh, anyway, sorry, Borean orangutans. Let's have a look over here. Oh, I like this big fence here. Look orangutans at that. A big uh, bridge, excuse me. Creature. They're always a big favourite at any zoo they feed. Oh, here they are. And they're also the biggest tree <laughs> animal on the planet. Hi. <laughs> Assuming you've got any lions that got stuck up one. It's got stuck oh, up what? Why don't you take a better look at them? <laughs> Open up their information panel and go into the animal camp. I'm way ahead of you. Aren't they just incredible? They are. When you're ready, let's go and have a look see at some of our beautiful bonobos. <laughs> They're quite the characters. Bonobo over here. Let's see the bonobos. Oh dear. It looks like we've arrived just in hey. time. One of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. Oh my god. And wouldn't you know it, one of the bonobos has made a run for oh, it. Oh lordy. We'll need to catch them. Here look. But before we do, we should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. Okay. Select the habitat boundary to bring up the habitat information panel. Got it. Good. Now open the animals tab. Box all. And click on box all animals to Done box it. up the remaining bonobos. Smashed it, Nancy. Come on, let's get this now, fixed. We'll need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo. But it seems our last one left to do some research in the wild. Well, Not an ideal situation. Not really, no. So we'll need to hire a replacement, sharp. Here we go then. Zoo. Go staff. Into the zoo section and then into the staff uh, management vet. area. Great. Great now stuff. let's deal with Oops. our SKP before they can cause too much havoc. Okay. Use the animal alerts to jump to the escaped bonobo. Uh, animal alerts. Jabari. Click on the call vet button to call the vet over to capture it. Where are you? Oh, you're here. Call vet. Oh. Oh, okay, that's the relief. <laughs> so well, I wouldn't breathe just yet, Nancy. It's still running wild through the phone calls. <laughs> can't escape again. 
Okay. Head back over there. We'll keep an eye on you. Well, we're not going to keep an eye on you. We need to fix the now fix the fence here, look. Oh dear, dear. Taking their eye off the ball, obviously. Yeah. Let's get this one replaced. Select the barrier and then we'll edit it. Uh, Delete the broken section of barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. Good. There we go. Now that we've done that, we need to make sure to add climb proof. Uh, oh yes, so we do. That way the bonobos won't be able to climb uh, out. That's here Just somewhere, sure right? You've got the correct piece of barrier selected when you do that. Yeah. Nicely done. And I think it's high time we unbox those bonobos, wouldn't you say? I think so, yeah. The poor mites will get sad if we leave them in there for too long. Uh, unbox all Select animals. Select the habitat barrier to bring up the habitat information. Poor things had to get them. boxed up for no reason. So, the other one who's wandered off. Out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. We'll need to hire a couple of new ones so we can help stop any more breakouts. Okay, well I'm just looking here. Mechanics do all sorts of helpful and I can't see him, but they're all but sort of hanging out, so I'm guessing we got him. Is taking care of the habitat barriers. Uh, mechanics. Without mechanics around to repair them, the barriers will. Two right. There we go. Bronze. We've absolutely smashed it. You know it will be overrun with escaped animals. Yes, we don't want that, do we? Go into the zoo section and then into the staff management. Scenario or not? Bare essentials. Nice. We have been busy, haven't, haven't we? we just, Good doesn't it? There. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. Okay. Bernie, bronze is done. Oh, uh, locate the highlighted I area. A bit of an issue with an escaped bonobo. The main thing is that you dealt with it swiftly. Yeah. And more importantly, without the animal stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front I've gate. Been, does that happen often, Bernie? Now, you've probably noticed that there's already a building where I want you to build the research centre. Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. Right. So we're able to place our new building inside of it. Good. If you select the research centre for placement and then uh, hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks if you want to add the research, research centre to the existing building. Already on it, girl. Okay, click to add it to the building. Oh, but that won't place it in just no. yet, though. First, we'll need to rotate our research centre so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. Okay. Right. Splendid Thank work. you very much. Now that we have a brand spanking new research centre, research. we can give our vets something to do in there. Locate the highlighted oh, area. By the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do research when they're not required to do any other jobs. Okay, good. That said, you can change what jobs a vet does via their information. So you can set them to just let's research, not worry right? About that just now. So, let's get our vet researching rings. So I'm, I'm ahead of you, Nance. Come on. Go into the zoo section and select vet research. Oh. What are we doing next? First Place off, two education two boards for ring-tailed lemurs. Place them on the habitat barriers at a height that guests can see, or, if you like, pop them down on a stand. Right, they're in here. Uh, no, here we go. So, we'll put one there. Boom. One over here. Not, not where the thingy is, let's put them. Oh, here, there's a stand lock. Boom. Okay. Now that they've been put into position, oh, there's two of them already. Look. Animal to display information about. Select one Let's of the education one, then, boards eh? to bring up its information panel. So these are lemurs. There's and not much climbing in there. I'm gonna guess we put some climbing in there. Uh, Although I'm sure that last lemur. part was obvious. It was a little when obvious. When you link an yeah. education board or a speaker to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If it isn't, the guests will get confused and won't learn as much. Right. Okay, now that we've done the education boards, let's pop down a pair of speakers. Speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals, instead of having to go through the laborious process of reading. Oh, one thing to bear in mind is that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. All right. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. That makes perfect sense. Now we simply need to link the speakers to the ring-tailed lemurs. Let's do them as well, do we? Just like you did with the education boards. Okay, that one. That one. Fantastic. Oh, it's worth remembering that education boards and speakers both need power to work. They won't do much good without it. They won't. Oh, it looks as though our vet has completed their research on ring-tailed lemurs. Oh, yeah? We'll need to collect the results. We can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into the vet research area. You discovered three items. Go on, collect your research rewards. 
Just so you know, vets will continue to research an animal even after successfully completing a research level. <laughs> I suppose when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. Tell me about it. I know, I know exactly well, what you mean. Now that we've enriched the lives okay, of our now guests, we've enriched the lives of our guests. The lives of our yes, because there's not much climbing y thing here, the is there? Animals, like lemurs, will have a climbing need. Yeah. That means they have a requirement I'm lucky for sitting on a thin pole there. Space. They never did that in the beta. Fulfill that requirement by building <laughs> them a climbing frame. Somebody just threw some in here. I saw it. Climbing space our lemur friends need, shall we? Well, I think I did. one of them and bring up their information panel. Uh, we need a lemur. Hold on. Boom. Next, click on the terrain. Terrain. Tab. Look at this. They haven't got anywhere near the climbable area they need. Oh, look at the baby one. Oh, my word. Where the baby one jumps. Hello. Uh, 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 where are you going, little one? Build one yourself from scratch. Baby Lima. By the way, it's not always just climbing needs that you have to worry about. <laughs> Other animals might need a certain amount of water in their habitat so they can uh -huh. swim. We never saw a baby lemur in beta. Keep us on our toes. Right, what am I doing? Climbing. Climbing frames. Climbing. Okay, so I'm not going to... I'm just going to do this now because let's be honest, it's it's a tutorial. Let's um that 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 should just kind of go. Oh, that's a great climbing frame for them. They're going to absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. You know what would make them even happier though? What, Nance? Nicer food. Yeah. But that's true of all of us, though, isn't it? Well, yeah. You can unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs, okay. so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. So, where's the gate? Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the lemur Where do they get in? Oh, all the way down here, look. Lovely. Now select the animals tab. Uh, animals, so yeah, uh, and increased food quality. A lot of people didn't notice this in beta, in to be honest. Just Tucked away, right? Drop -down menu but tutorial's here now, so... Food quality. Grade 2 food quality. My mouth's already watered. I know, it sounds delicious, doesn't it? So, <laughs> well, a that's a hill. climbing frame and better food. Oh, yeah. you really spoilt those lemurs rotten. Where's it going? Now, I think it's time we looked at one of the zoo's most important responsibilities. Are you filling that thing up? Releasing animals into the wild. Yeah. You see, when we feel an animal is ready, we can release them into the wild. But Oops. what makes an animal a good candidate for release? I can't do anything well, with that, that's a bit dodgy. Is an important factor. I mean, we can't release an animal that's a juvenile, just as we can't release one that's gotten too Right, it's so got to be adults. They'll also need to be fertile. After all, the idea is to repopulate the wild. So the best candidates okay, will have a high luck. fertility gene. And together, the age and fertility of a candidate will determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release so them. So age and fertility are the now, main factors when releasing them. Are vitally important. Okay, let's have a look then. So we're going over here. We're going to release uh, an orangutan. And what's more, the animals you can adopt will be of a higher quality. Agung. Wow, so, great quality. Mind, Look at this one. Let's pop over to our it's all about genetics. Habitat. Great fertility. Okay, I'd like you to find Agung, the Bornean orangutan in the habitat, How old and select is he? him, please. You can either click oh, he's, to oh, he's just menu, turned look. or select the habitat barrier, go to the animals tab, oh. the information panel, There's and life, find the animals list. You're off. You're going. You're, you're, you're heading out. Um, release to the wild. Agung, lifespan remaining, fertility remaining, fertility gene, conservation status, 1,171 conservation credits. Off I you go. Sad to see him go but he'll, be he'll be happy in the wild. Too right, yes. And he's a wonderful Give him a good life out in the wild if we can. And oh, and he's left and behind a turd. I know I have. Good stuff. Okay, gold then. Wow, we're flying through this. I suppose it is a tutorial, I guess. I see you've been doing some That's nice. What's that piece there? Broken Himalayan pine. So this is one of the things I really enjoyed playing the careers mode, because you notice things like this that you may not spot before. That's great. Himalayan pine. Asian tiger. All right, we'll bear that in mind. Uh, locate the highlighted area. With habitat animals. Yeah. But now it's time to learn all oh, do you know what? I spotted animals. this before and thought, yeah, that's we're well going to place one down there, aren't we? I've marked an area for our new exhibit. Okay. How about we head over there? I'm here. Lovely. Now let's build a new exhibit in the gap that's been left. Uh huh. Just add it to the building like we did with the research center. Okay, earlier. it's not letting me then click and edit the, the building gap. this time. That's fine. 
So we're going to go to exhibits. Uh, select. There you go. Boom. Rarely um, these are outside in real life. I guess it's difficult to curtail algae growth and stuff when um, when you when you're looking at sort of sunshine and cutting that. Uh, now I'm curious. Because I'm just checking because some of the animals that are in this list now are you wouldn't really call them rainforesty, you know? I mean, this one actually no, I think even the the Gila monster is they're they're like South, they're South American, right? Or, or Central American? Anyway, we're buying it. Adopt. Just okay. Send to zoo. Boom. Oh yeah! Look at that! I was just gonna say. <laughs> oh, fantastic! Frontier, great job. To an oh, I'm so chuffed to see that. That oh man, that sounds ridiculous. How excited I am! So it's dependent on the animal. That's perfect. That's fine. I was just looking for an option somewhere because I was thinking, do you know what? They're, some of these animals that they're, that they've announced here aren't aren't rainforesty ones. So we've actually got desert ones now as well. That's great. Oh, that really that fills a need that I was really hoping we got because I want to do something with these. Um, I've got absolutely no idea what I'm doing. It, on the layout tab. Layout. Oh, we're adding some enrichment. Okay. Well, it looks like we've only got the enrichment level one items unlocked. Oh, well, that's rubbish, isn't it? Never mind. Let's turn on at least one of them for the healer monster. Well, can we do As all I'm of them? Sure <gasps> now, Look at that. They tear really nicely. That's ace. By having one of your vets do some research. Yes. Now we'll also need to set the temperature and Right. So temp needs to go up. Important for keeping our healer monster happy and comfortable. 35, no, a bit higher, do you reckon? Tab. 40? Here, oh no, that was fine where it was. There we go. Desired temperature and humidity. You can change both of these by adjusting the dial. Oh, it's below. not humid, it's a dry. Sure it's going to be nice and cozy. Warm but dry, right? It's what, that's what we're looking for here. Deserts, of course. No, no humidity at all. But very warm. Oh, I'm so happy that's deserts. I really am. <laughs> There we go. I should, shouldn't doubt. Uh, shouldn't doubt them, should I? Windows tab. Yeah. Okay. A window can be closed and blank, or have a two-dimensional background, or even a three-dimensional background. So we kind of want to close that one in, in the middle, right? So we can do 2D facades. Pop them down near your exhibit to teach your guests about them. Is that, is that what that is? <sighs> oh, look at that. I, I, well, it's going to be the 3D one, hasn't it? All day long. Look at that. That's loads better. That's really good. And I'll tell you what, because if I can, I'm going to give... I'm going to give... Uh, let me give you one of them as well. There we go. <gasps> yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, increase the education rating. Oh, okay, so we need a we need a little screen this time. Which is down here. Education exhibit. Let's turn that off so we can see what's going on. Um, is the one already down for that one? There. Okay, so let's try and mimic that. Uh, boom. And set that to be Gila Monster. Now our yeah. Learn all about our venomous friend here. Good stuff. Right now, right, what? I've got a bit of a big job for you. Okay. I need you to increase the number of species in the zoo. Oh. You'll probably want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so. Okay. Which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Right. Go on, off you pop. I'll check in with you when you're almost done. Okay. Oh, wow. God, that kind of throws you in the deep end a little bit, doesn't it? My word. Uh, okay, right. So we've got... <laughs> it's like, here, click this button. Now click this button. Right, three more exhibits. Go. <laughs> um, okay, so, I mean, this seems like the obvious spot then. So let's have a look. What's under here? Anything? Okay, that's all sort of closed in. But they definitely sort of come over this way. And there is... Oh, that's two food stores. I'm trying to see if there's any obvious spots to throw some exhibits in, you know? 
making sure we're not missing too much. I mean, it's definitely this is this is definitely the spot for for new animals, right? Staff and path. Uh, all right, I reckon we'll do an exhibit there, and then we'll chuck in a couple more. Uh, sorry, we'll do an enclosure there even, and we'll chuck in a couple more exhibit animals somewhere. That's mostly staff area there. Um, let's have a look. Where where are those that we've just put in? I'm totally lost. I'm really really lost. Where? Oh, here, 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 here. Okay. So what I want to do? I want to. I want to. And that's all linked together. So I'm going to duplicate that and bring it over to here. Um, and then split it from the group. Okay. So we can now put that in like this. Let's turn that off a second so we can see. Uh, oh, we can't put it onto the path, right? So let's go. Let's go something like that. And we'll do two of these here see if we can get path up to them oh we're a bit high there i think okay uh let's bring it down a little oh there we go that one's done it for us that's nice oh they're both done it for us perfect yeah okay so what can we get in here uh view animal market is it unlocked at all for us nice okay so let's see if we can find some of the newer ones that we haven't seen before uh we've got more giant burrowing uh, what cockroaches than we could ever need. Um, let's have a look. Amazonian giant centipede. Um, boa constrictor. Now, I'll be honest with you, I haven't been that up on these ones to know which ones we have and which ones we haven't seen. I can't. Remember. I don't really know which ones were in the were in the uh, the beta. Not many of them, I don't think. But let's go for a yellow anaconda. No. <laughs> let's go for a giant centipede. No. There's, okay, so we've got Iguana. Let's go for an Antillian Iguana then. Uh, let's have a look at some stats. Let's get their, their nice high ratings. I'm sure right at home about with these ratings, is there? You're not so bad though. So let's adopt you and move you to there. Nice. And then um, I don't want to kill a monster. Let's see what else we've got here. So that was a, an Iguana. So I'd like a snake. Eastern Brown? No. Common Death? No. Boa? No. Come on, there's got to be a snake we're allowed on this level. Uh, birdies, that's a, that's a spider. Poison frog, that's a frog. Puffer adder, no. Rattlesnake, no. Yellow anaconda, no, no no snakes. Okay, well, land snail then, just because, you know, who wouldn't want to come and see a snail? Um, so I'm going to get a few of these. Because I can't imagine you'd, you'd have them on their own. So now we go to uh, center. Select them all. Animal cannot release them. Oh, that's fine. And put them all in there. Oh, look. that's that's a, They're both new styles, right? <gasps> that's awesome. Where are they? Oh, he's on the glass. Look. I get so excited about the silliest little things. Look at the big old snail on the grass. Somebody pointed out. I, I didn't realize there's actually an animal camera here as well. I don't think I actually noticed that. Orbit camera. No, no, no. No, no, no. There's actually a specific animal one, right? Animals. There we go. Camera. Yeah, there he is. Snail boy. Being a snail. Okay, so now we've got to make sure we've got temps and stuff right. Okay, so climate. Temperature's fine. Humidity's a little high. Bring it down to like there, I guess. Ah. These aren't going to have any power. Let's pause the game momentarily. Power and water are just new things that I have not had to worry about for a little... So there's power right there. Which which I imagine staff aren't... People aren't happy about it. They're not going to like that, are they? Ah, does solar panel not have negative effects? Wind does. Solar doesn't. That's interesting, isn't it? Transformer. Um, what? I don't know. Water does. Transformer does. Am I just looking at it wrong? Solar panel does not have a negative effect on guests. Okay, well, in that case, 
I mean, this thing is uh, floating at the moment. We'll 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 figure that out. But for now, hell, let's just get let's just get a solar panel on the back of it, eh? And now yet yeah, now you're all warmy warmy. So you're a little hot there actually. So let's knock you down to thirty two. And there to there. Let's see what that does. Thirty two is still too hot. Thirty one. And humidity seems a little high or is a little low. Yeah, there we go. So, I'm sorry, but that temperature looks like it's dead on. Does it have to be 30? Right, it has to be 30. Okay, and you need to be 60 now, I'm guessing. Oh, you're a fussy little one, aren't you, Iguana boy? Uh, okay, everything else, you're actually pretty good. So, have we got any enrichments? Yeah, a trunk, a branch. Let's just knock it all up. Boom, boom, but the lot. I want everything. Okay, you got to be happy with that. Yeah, layout. Providing appropriate arrangement features, good stuff. Okay, so you're happy. Sn snailies, 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 you're not. You, this is going to be way off, isn't it? Okay, so temperature's good. Humidity needs to come down to somewhere around there, I reckon. Dehumidifying. Excellent stuff. And obviously, your rock piles are going in, aren't they? Look at these. Because I know as a snail, I would be happy with a rock pile. There we go. Okay. So, iguana and snails are happy. Alright. So that's going to be staff that way. So let's bring the staff path down. Let's make that staff path. And we'll bring it around this way. Oh, we need to bring it up. Why can't I connect staff path onto there? Ooh, 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 okay. I, I understand now. Let's go there. There we go. And then that can cut. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Length. It's there. It's there somewhere. Okay. Right. Oh, you go away a minute. There we go. No, no, no. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That's the. Uh... Let's um, let's get rid of you. Down, whoops. Down, there we go. To there, to there. Hi, kiddo. Little man's back. So I'll leave this here for a minute and finish off uh, in a second for you, but a few hours for me. Hi, little man. Change of plan. Uh, I ended up time lapsing this last little bit because um, it took me a little longer than I thought. And we basically just wanted to make a little exhibit here. So, um, turns out there's already a um, iguana in the place. Okay, so actually those two new additions there only counted as one. Um, so I need to go and put. And I tried to take it out, and it won't let me take it out. It won't let me send the iguana back to the trade center. I don't know whether that's so uh, so that we can't send any of the animals back. Obviously, because it's more of a, like a tutorial level. Uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't let us put back the ones that we've built. So we need to add a, th a third one of those in somewhere with a different animal. Uh, because in the trade center, as far as habitats are concerned, there is only one animal you can buy that isn't already in the park, um, and that's a, a tapir, uh, Baird's tapir. So, uh, I didn't look at that, to be honest with you, before I, here we go, before I built the exhibit. So I built that exhibit there, and I was like, oh, I'll throw in a couple of giraffes or something, and I was like, oh no, it's just a Baird's tapir. So... <laughs> It's the biggest Baird's Tapir exhibit in the world. <laughs> uh, I end up shrinking it down quite a bit because it looks a little silly having this big thing here just for uh, one tapir. As cute as they are, they don't really, they'd probably be a little bit scared of having all this room, I think. Um, again, nothing crazy going to be going on here. Like I said, this this series isn't really focused on the design so much, more focusing on um, sort of animal welfare and getting the, uh, the, the, the stars, you know, the gold, silver and bronze stars that each one has so i mean obviously i'm going to spend a little bit of time making it look acceptable but uh, yeah if you're just finding this episode 
uh, please go and check out some of the other stuff, some of the proper sort of speed build stuff uh, where I really sort of uh, pay attention to detail here. Uh, it's more about having fun and actually playing the game, which is something we don't very often do when we uh, when we go into sandbox and spend hours and hours over over individual uh, exhibits. Apologies for that noise. I think somebody's cutting a tree down or something outside. Sounds like. Um, going to be using, look at these ridiculous huge trees i thought well why not when in rome i guess they've already gotten placed around the place i think they're absolutely massive uh, but uh, it turns out quite cute and it's uh, a bad sepia so that gives us 11 of the 12 that we need for this um uh for this for the gold star that is as nancy put it so we're gonna have to go in and like i say add one more and we'll just find somewhere to stick one you know it's not going to be anything special we'll go in and find one more of those um uh what they call them exhibit animals i always get right exhibit enclosure habitat i get those words constantly mixed up um so habitat is the term the game uses for big animals exhibit is the one it uses for small animals um but then there's also the word enclosure that kind of is the same as habitat. I think I think habitat is the preferred word now, um, as far as zoos goes. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's finish this off. There is actually uh, a quick fix for this. There is a there is an empty thing in the zoo, an empty exhibit. Look, no species assigned. So let's head over there and have a look. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so we can drop something we don't already have in there, and then that should give us the. Uh, that should give us the last one we need. Yeah, there we go. Of an average average habit, habitat species overall welfare to ninety percent. Wow. Okay. Um, so let's have a look at what's already in the zoo. Exhibit wise, we've got. See, there we go. Two iguanas, a cockroach, a gila monster, um, and the and the land snails. Okay. So if we then go to exhibit, uh, so boring cockroach, land snails, gila monster. Uh, so goliath frog sounds good. Let me just double check. No Goliath frog. Perfect. Okay, so we'll take a uh, Goliath froggy. Uh, first one with better stats, I suppose. Same sort of score. That's actually got a better score, weirdly. Uh, Alright. Adopt. Send to there. Boom. Yeah. Well, hold on. We've got to make sure all the temps. Oh, yeah, all good. We need to make sure they're nice and happy. Uh -huh. So let's get the average welfare across the zoo nice and high, shall we? And by we, I mean you. Go on, get to it. So 90% across the board. So we're going to have to research something here. Um, so let me remind myself how we do that. Research. Uh, vet research. Oh, okay, good. We've got some lemur stuff there. So you are going to have to get a Goliath Frog researched. I'm probably going to take on a couple more vets because we've got copious amounts of money. Uh, so vet, vet. And we want one of you to actually potter about and, and do your jobs as well, right? So uh, low, welfare. low welfare. Are you joking? Social. Animal is distressed and trying to hide are you are you stuck you're not stuck in the water are you you have plenty of room ah hold on hold on hold on we need some toy enrichment, but I think also, don't we need cover as well? Hard cover, that's what I forgot. Um, okay, right, this is going to be such a long video. Let's come into here. Um, let's pause the game a moment. Let's go to enter group edit mode. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's quickly box some stuff in here. I was just about to say let's box in the solar panel, but that's not how solar panels work, Jante. So instead, we'll do something... Uh, Similar. Let's bring that there. Uh, okay. Um, let's do that. And then whatever this is can go here. I'm going to make it 
look like uh, look like that's an interior there, but it won't be. It's going to just be for show. Uh, oh, that needs to all come a little higher. There we go. Um, but then what we can do is using the trim of this here, we can make some hard shelter for them. Kind of like we've done there where the guests are, st are stood. Right, so we can go one, two, three. Whether that's enough, I don't know. We'll have to have a look in a moment. But for now, I'll choose these awesome decorative African pillars. See, the, yeah, that looks like they're just going to get stuck under there. Might have to do some terrain editing. Um, okay, let's have a look at that. How how do you feel about that? So your habitat's gone up. Okay, let's just let me just get you out of the water a minute. I wonder if you were getting trapped in the water. Let's see. Or do you genuinely just always feel? Like you're, you're on show. How about if we do something like that? Do you feel like you can hide there, do you? There you go, stress going up. Good stuff. Or well, stress going down, I guess. Plenty, plenty of places to hide. Look, you've got all this over here. Look, we give you some more bushes here to chill out. Oh, hello. What happened then? Okay. Okay, welfare. So nutrition, last meal quality. Not really that much we can do about that. Social should be all the way up to 100 now. Habitat is 100. So we need some toy enrichment. Uh, habitat, toy enrichment for a bear's tape here. Enrichment items, toys. Oh, there's all sorts. Look, rubbing pillar. There we go. And you could do a little bit more. Let's give you a sprinkler over here. Cool yourself down a bit. There you go. Awesome. Great welfare. Okay. So that's the tapir sorted. Let's go to our zoo. So is it? It's. It was specifically habitat enrichment we're doing, right? Habitat species. Enrichment. So, zoos, habitats. Yeah. Uh, okay, no. Animals. Uh, welfare. So, you, Eduardo, you, yeah, not worried about you or you. Okay, so we've got some. So, we've got some issues in the bonobos. Let's go and check out the bonobos. That's here. They're all pretty much just chilling on, on the bedding. So, what's up with you? You don't have. Uh, meal quality, we can't do much about. Um, habitat temperature, it says it's fine, and we need some. So we need some hard shelter, and we need some toys and stuff. Okay, so that one's nice and easy. Uh, bonobo, let's do some cool toys. So you can have a mirror, you can have a grab ball. I'll roll down the hill there. Uh, you're gonna need a lot of a lot of toys, right? Because there's, there's plenty of you. A keyboard. There you go. You play some tunes on that. A big old. Oh, hello. Are you okay? A bobbin. Um, you could even do some more. How about a big old block of ice? It's a slippy, slippy one. Uh, and then food enrichment. Uh, how about a, a fixed roller somewhere over here? There we go. Uh, termite mound. Oh, that's a neat one. There we go. A toy box, puzzle box over here. Uh, okay. So who, who, who is on box? Oh, there's loads of your stock, look. Unbox all animals. There we go. Okay, your, your welfare's up now. So, how are we getting on? Up to 88. Okay, nice. Let's have a little lucky look. 
Uh, Eduardo, you're, you're not happy, are you, Eduardo? Let, I'm going to check you out because I hate to have you not well. Is it you there? Uh, no, sorry. Eduardo. Nutrition. Animals are hungry. Requires keeper. Okay. Call keeper. Oops, is that happening? Uh, but then the lowest welfare animal that isn't in one of those boxes is Sal. Sal, what's up with you, Squire? You're hungry. Okay. Is that your food plate there? Call keeper. Okay. Speed it up. There is one in there clearing up poo as we speak. So I'm going to hope that one of you comes along. See, there you go. You've just walked in there. So what are you going to go and do now? Is this the problem that a few people have said they're having still? Uh, exhibit food. Going to habitat. No, going to habitat. No. I need you to feed these. Okay, a boreal feeding platform. Let's delete that. Let's try again with it. Okay, so habitat stuff for ruffled lemurs, red what are they called? Red le red red ruffled lemur. So food spike <laughs> Some frozen fruit there. They get boxed up when I put stuff down. That's so weird. Okay. Unbox all of you. Uh, and call a keeper. And then hopefully... Oh, was it maybe one? Hopefully. The keeper will... Sort some food out. Yeah, that looks like food to me. Good stuff. So she's gone and filled that forager there. That fruit thing there. What else have you gone to do? Just those two. Okay, but hopefully... They'll get fed. And there's this thing as well, right? Is that helping with nutrition? That's milk quality 100%. Okay, so that sounds good. We're at 86. It's actually gone down. My God. Okay. Zoo. Species. Welfare. Who's got... Lo See, Jabal has got nutrition issues as well. He's a bonobo. We've just come into the bonobos. Call keepers and habitat. Come on, let's get people fed, all right? Let's get these animals fedded. Because without them being fedded, we're going to have low welfare. No, there we go. You should be proud of yourself. I am proud of myself. Not only have you expanded the zoo and kept the animals as happy as Lanny, but you didn't bankrupt us in the process. Oh, good. We've got and 200 grand amazing. in the bank. Awesome! Madagascan Simian Conservation Project is complete! Uh, wow. he's Bernie's well, going to give me a, a happy-go-looking air, look. I barely recognize it. There you go. A wonderful new exhibit, yeah. some fascinating new species, yeah. and you've done wonders for the animals' welfare by enriching their habitats. I have. <laughs> Who doesn't love playing with a three-foot-wide soccer ball, huh? <laughs> me. <laughs> I mean, other than professional soccer players. Of course. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't easy, though. Uh -huh. I expect money was tighter than a possum's pouch. Nope. Plowing all those funds back <laughs> <in> the <laughs> There was a lot of money. Doesn't make running these places a picnic. Although, it does make me feel a little less guilty about how much our gift shops charge. Okay. No. As far as oh, I'm come concerned, on, Bernie. Finish up for us, sunshine. Run a zoo is to help animal kind. Sadly, it appears some other people have far less noble goals. Oh, ooh, that sounds like it's telling us about what's going to happen next, which we'll find out in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, be good.